Hello everyone, my name is Andre Fernandez. I'm a research scientist here at Zimmer and Peacock. Today I am going to show you how we prepare our ginger samples uh, in order to uh, sample the ginger oil concentration in, um, in the food sample. So for doing that we have basically a uh, ginger root which we are going to demonstrate. This ginger root will be processed in a grinder, in a food blender, and from that we will sample one gram, we will weigh one gram of that sample, and we'll mix with a ginger pot buffer solution from our sister company, Alexia, and, uh, and we will sample it to one of our ZP uh, ginger uh, sensors, in, and then we'll measure it, we'll connect it to our food sense uh, device and measure it in our food sense app. For further instructions on how to download and install the app, please watch one of our videos on how to do that. Uh, for, but for the meantime, I'm going to use this food blender and to grind down basically this ginger root. So I'll, I'll, I broke it to small pieces. I'm putting it inside a cup, I'm closing this, and I will start, start the grinding process. Sorry, I will have to plug it in. And here. <laughs> See how it is now. It looks good. So So now I have this sample and I have a balance here. So this one here, just a small kitchen balance. And I will now open processed foods. And it's a beautiful ginger smell. I'm just tearing the machine to the correct and I will weigh it to the zero grams. And now I'm going to weigh one gram. So just adjusting here to one gram. All right, so now I'll leave this on the side. I will take some of the ginger pot buffer to a separate uh, cup in order not to sample directly from the, from the buffer bottle. And so I'm going to transfer now this this one gram of ginger has a lot of hairs and roots so it's not always easy to handle this so I have to help a little bit in my hand here so So now the sample is there and I have to put four milliliters of the ginger pot buffer solution in the centrifuge tube 
together with um, with uh, with one gram of ginger grinded sample here, and then I do need to stir it. So I need to shake it vigorously. For this instance, we are going to use um, a vortex. So I'm pipetting four times because this is uh, one milliliter pipe pen. I'm going to close the bottle. And now, so if you don't have a vortex, you will need to shake it for one minute. In this instance, I'm going to use the vortex. So we use a 15 milliliter centrifuge tube because it just makes more room to actually do the mix. And you should vortex it for one minute. And after one minute, you should let it rest for five minutes, between two and five minutes. So in this case, for the sake of this demo, I'm going to reduce this waiting time. So, uh, so I'm going to let it rest here for a while. And I'm going to snap from this strip one of the ZP Ginger sensors. I'm going to insert it in the food sense device. So the food sense device is actually connected to a battery pack on USB 2 output for this battery pack because basically you want an output with uh, 5 volts and with a power up to so um, up to so with a current up to two amps output. So basically, I'm connecting the the sensor, and by doing this, now I will need to open the app, the Food Sense app, which I'll come a little bit closer to the camera so the user can see the person looking at the video. So, so I will open the app. I'll go to this. So hardware not found is what it says. It's red one. So I will have to rescan and find my device, which is there. So I connected to it. I go back. I press by default comes on the chili menu, but I will have to press it to come to the main menu where I can choose the different analytes. And in this case, I'm going to press ginger. So once I have the sample on the sensor, I have, I'll have to pipette that sample into the sensor. I'll press measure and I'll wait for the results to pop. So it will run an assay, which basically translates on a CV scan. And the peak current of the oxidation peak for ginger oil will be an indicator of how much ginger oil we have in our sample. So the sensor is in position, everything is ready. So I will pipette 40 microliters of the sample, the food sample to the electrodes. So 40 microliters in order to cover, properly cover all the electrodes. So here, one pipette tip. A small trick, because there will be some food uh, bits very small ones. I advise you to cut a little bit, to cut off the pipette tip in order to be able to grab some small chunks in the fluid in order not to, to jam the, the actual pipette tip. So here, so I waited approximately three minutes. Uh, so here I'm gonna take the slur so it's currently here. And now I will pipette just covering the electrodes in order to build an electrochemical cell. So I have to cover all three electrodes, working counter and reference. And once this is done, you then, on the app, you then press measure. And now we have to wait for the assay to be completed, which means that we have to wait for this um, yellow uh, circle to be fully yellow.
So while we wait for the for the measurement to complete, uh, there are a few important notes. So these sensors should they are one time use. So so basically, uh, once you have used them, you should discard them. And uh, as well, we do have we do have validation sensors. So sensors that you should run when you install your um, your device. So each food uh, each each food analyte has its own. So chili will have its own validation sensor, garlic its own validation sensor, and ginger as well. So the validation sensor is something that looks like this. So and this one should dictate a value. For more details about this this sensor, please uh, do not hesitate to see one of our uh, introductory videos on how to verify and install the app, verify the food sent box and install the app. So the measurement is now halfway completed. I can show to the audience how it looks. Well, as you can see, it's running the assay and soon will give us a value. Any questions about this video, please do not hesitate to contact our team. So um, we'll be happy to help you. And the value here is 0 0.8, 0 0.8 millimolar of ginger oil. So again, we have a ratio of one gram of ginger root to four milliliters of buffer solution. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.